Yo! Video games. All right, the Netflix score wasn't that good. Pretty like shitted itself in the last season or whatever. Jump the shark? Yeah. I didn't watch it, so I didn't, I didn't care. <laughs> I had friends who did, but. And Voltron's. Oh, yeah, Voltron is like, like that Macross stuff, you know, where it's just yeah. mostly space politics. It's like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Characters talking to each other about really boring shit. Most of the time. Yeah, but that fucking jet Macross, though, looks so cool. Pretty badass, yeah. <laughs> Jetfire, jet yeah. Pretty fucking cool, yeah, dude. Jetfire looks so cool. <laughs> Gee, it's, like, it's like the entire show rides itself on the fact that it has one really good design, right? Voltron yeah. and then, like, Macross stuff. It's like, fuck, dude, this is so cool. Joe the Condor is pretty neat. Oh, yeah, he's sick. Cool style. Looks like he's like, like, like the Watchman version. Yeah. Batsu did that, actually. What? Yeah, that was Batsu's grab. How the hell did you grab me out of my air combo? He dropped it and he just messing at me. This kid drive a school, uh. Air grab was like. I like Boxer's shoes. I like his crazy ass high tops. Shoes. Like Leon. It's like Leon Kennedy's like fucking Reeboks of Resident Evil 2. Yeah. With his big white Reeboks on. Fucking A. Fucking A. That's pretty sick. That's new. Oh, I've seen that one. Okay, okay, the bird one. That connected. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. The character's got some pretty great supers in this game. This this animation of like characters going, uh, like recoiling and bouncing on the ground and going into like a dead position is in like every single aiding game. <laughs> I swear. Like every single NBC game after this has that same shit. Some of the recoil animations have never changed in aiding games. It's the same thing in like older aiding games too. Well that's uh Oh, yeah. Adam. Yeah, you know, it'd be fun. I think it would be fun to like lab this whistle. game and like really learn shit. Macross. Yeah, now that this game actually has like, you know, online with parts, like, I'm kind of motivated to learn how to play it. Dude, sick Jin would have been sick for this game. Yeah, I'm like with the Jesus. Jesus. Like, find these guys with Max. Jin is just a Sentai ripoff. Yeah, that's all he is. He's just one. Of, he's just a Tatsunoko character, but yeah. Capcom made him. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I don't know how the hell that didn't happen. What the fuck? Probably because there was no Cyberbots or anything. But there was no rival schools in it, so I don't fucking get that shit. Well, I mean, they just felt like it would have been overkill. Maybe. Like, yeah. Uh, they're already full of people like that on the other side. Yeah, so. I guess so. Oh, fuck it. Like, they don't have our own Capcom version. Yeah, I think, no, I, it's because, well, think about it, like, they have, they have that, that the whole thing. game is that. Well, they, they could have used Blodia, but no, Lost Planet, too. Why? Because fucking Inafune. I think Inafune stink. Inafune, yeah. I think Inafune stink is all over this game. Yeah, yeah his business decisions are everywhere. Yeah, that's actually a great point, where it's like, they literally have a, a Sentai Capcom character, that's all he is, and he's literally ripped off of, like, he's, he's, he's unapologetically stolen from, like, other things and just mixed mod for this stuff. And yeah, the Capcom side of this roster is kind wow. of, it's okay. Like, J Batsu's cool. I feel like Alex was a great, great addition other than just like, you know, uh, the, the big brawler. 
Not no more Zangief, put in Alex. I'm like, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh But Mega Man Volnut's a weird one. Why? Mega Man and then and then putting zero in the game and having him defeat it's Inafune once again. Yeah, there you go. It's Inafune, it's his baby. It's, it's all so his, that, that makes it's all a lot his, of sense. It's almost entirely his fucking pick. And it. then Frank West is Inafune again. Yeah, we'll put an Onimusha character here. And then Onimusha 4, guys, very... That's a weird choice. But only a few years old at that point, right? Two or three years old? I'm trying to think of... Who else? Um, Beautiful Joe is, is, makes sense. He's from this generation. You're red, bitch! Oh, damn. Fifteen point four three three billion damage. Saki, yeah, Saki's from an old ass Capcom game, like an old dating sim Capcom thing. That's a weird one because she's in Marvel One, and she's like a terrible assist in that game. That's a weird one. Yeah, I don't know. Who the fuck kept bringing back Spencer? I don't know, and I'm not happy. I don't know how Spencer kept getting all this fucking airtime. I would say Ben Chad, but he wasn't around by name at the time, so... And don't give me, like, you know, uh, that, that, that thing that they said about NBCI where it's like, oh, we wanted to give the bad characters a chance to shine. That's uh, exactly what they told me. That's exactly what they said. Yeah, 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 I know. And then, but why the fuck would you put Spencer in there? Because Spencer was top tier with holy shit in Marvel 3, and, and, and Marvel 3 and UMBC 3. Like, he's super fucking good. He's one of the best characters in the game. Well, doing NBC 3, he, he had a game out, right? No, well, sort of. Like, a couple years before that, bomb yeah. hard. Okay. Remember, so, I mean, I get, like, Nemesis, right? That makes sense. Remember my brother bought that game and thought it was going to be amazing. It was okay. It was just not great. It wipes my arm. Yeah. Yeah, I heard it was kind of a dud of a game. I tried it. Was it the control? No, it was just unpolished. Ah. That's a cool idea, but it's like... None of it felt great. It wasn't finished. None of that wasn't finished. It wasn't... It wasn't as fun to swing around as it should have been. Stuff like that. And, and just having sort of like a boring hey, trademark uh, environment. That's my daughter's food. Uh, eating my daughter's pasta. Uh, you uh, bitch. Uh, hey, he's, he's not even sorry her. about uh, it. Uh, he's not even he's sorry not about even it. He's not even sorry. Uh, I have to make her more uh, dinner. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. Wait, you made this? Yes. yes. <laughs> For her. Is that bad? Uh, sure it is. <laughs> tell, that my, tell that to my child. <laughs> Is he just raiding my kitchen? <laughs> Bad guilty here, thank you. I'm like, I smell spaghetti. <laughs> what the fuck? That was well good. I can't even think of what else, um... Is this poverty? Oh, hell yeah! And TBC's hella poverty. You only play this game because you like it. That's poverty. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah. That's not true poverty. You know, TBC did have its did have its moment in the sun. I saw it being played at Evo. You know. Hey, MDC three is considered poverty at this point. You know. No, it's not. Oh, okay. It, it was big for a very long time. Yeah, but at this point, that's what I'm saying. There's shit ton of people playing it. There's a shit ton of there's the tournaments for that game weekly have like a fucking seventy entrants. There's a shit ton of people playing it. Same with MCI. Actually, yes. I mean, yeah, I know I know you're just saying shit because you no, just No, I actually shit. know that. No, I've, I've been there. But MVCI has a uh, has had a weekly for uh, five years now. Oh, wow. Only five, almost five years, and they have a pretty good amount of entrance. I, I, I don't get to watch them all the time, but the, uh, uh, the I think what the you know what? You know what? When it comes to um, Evo this year, I think I'm more anticipating the side tournaments than I am the major tournaments. At this yeah, there's no big main games outside of KOF that I really, really want to see, you know? Yeah. Like, I think the side tournaments going to be more entertaining just for me, you know, personally, and shit like that, you know? I don't know, I'm kind of looking forward to that responsible fuck with you, man. That's going to be boring to me. Nah. Max is going, going straight up against just one. For, for what? Responsible father tournament. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, 
Happy birthday to you. Good combo. Holy shit. Now that's the thing, Chad. 70 people to show up for a weekly of any individual fight game is a shit ton. Like, for any other understand, even if that's online, that's still a shit ton. That's a lot of people. For, like, it, 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 if I, even for the weeklies that were happening uh, back at, like, the run back, right, and Wednesday night fights, sometimes they get, like, 100 entrants and stuff, and that was huge, but if you had, like, 20 to 25 people, that is a healthy as fuck tournament. And that's what we were hoping that KI was getting, was, like, over 15 people tonight, you know, was, are we, are we good? You know, can we run the event? I don't think people realize, a lot of people. I don't think people realize how long it takes for a tournament to run. Oh, yeah, if you, get, if you get 70 plus, dude, that's a whole day. That, that's like a six hour fucking yeah, event. Yeah, that's like a whole fucking day, bro. Trust me, that's, like, uh, what did I have? I had the, um, the Yo Video Games tournament, right? Um, we played two games in one day. I yeah. literally, it was literally the entire fucking day was the, the damn tournament. Yep. And then the right. next day we had one, Good. next day we had one tournament, I think that was the MCCI one, and uh, that took longer than expected too. Yeah. You don't need to stream every match of like that much no. of a tournament, but yeah. still just going through all those matches is a lot. Yeah. Oh, it's the mall. Fuck. Uh, that's a, that's a healthy as fuck community. Even if it's online, that's healthy as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, Wednesday Night Fights, remember the, remember the run back? Ended up being like, we're going way late into the night. Jesus! Oh, shit. Look at those matching bitches. Yeah, yeah, synergy. And now it's ruined because of his fucking shoulder. What the hell is happening, Max? That's yeah, weird, right? What is going on? Really? Yeah, you know, the mind of its own. Dislocated. You know, a tournament can't go faster if it didn't have losers brackets, but I don't think that's fair to the government. Well, yeah, yeah, that's not a tournament. You know. Yeah, it's just an event. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Damn, they're yeah. matching here. What the yeah, fuck? If you want like a poverty game, right? You, you have to like wait till there's a giant event. Get everybody you possibly can. They might fill into one hotel room, like a normal sized one. And even in that room, people are still playing Street Fighter, so you have to play in the bathroom. Yeah, that's, be that's, like that's, that's the joke of the poverty game, you know? If you like around and make you something like that, yeah. people are like around and because I actually did that. I went to like some guy's like um, apartment and he had like um, all this setup to like this run roof and shit. Assist, okay. And look how look how basic ass shit. Is this a Dino Crisis three stage? I just realized. I don't, I don't know. Dino Crisis? Anyway, America, what is this? Look at the assets in the background. Look at how basic as shit they are, dude. Look at this big spider thing. It is... It could run on a Super Nintendo. Uh, like, holy shit. You blow that up and it does not look good. It's Tekaman Blade, okay. Oh, Tekaman Blade got the best sounding stage. Dude, this is... This is a literal rave. What is going on with the lights? Is there a chance this gets, this gets re released in the future? Absolutely none. 100% no. There would have to be somebody at Capcom that loves the fuck out of Oh my god, this. he's got doubles! There have to be somebody at Capcom that loves the fuck out of TVC and uh, has licensing enough, god too. Has a licensing god and has enough tenure and executive power to make it happen. And is willing to lose money because even ah. if you re-release Tatsunoko versus Capcom, this game would not sell super well. Because it, it would it would do a full on passion project. It would be just a passion project, and that's practically what TVC was in America anyway. Because it wasn't going to come to America. This was locked to Japan. Pretty much. Uh, this was a financially lucrative Japan, right? Ah, uh, not really. It did okay. Huh. You think with such a powerhouse like Tatsunoko would be like, okay, let's make some money. You don't think so. I don't know. I don't think Tatsunoko's that much of a powerhouse. Well, in Japan. Japan. Even back then. All these characters, are, like, except for like Kasher, most of the characters were like 20 plus years old when this game came out. Yo, Magnus Gray, thank you. From what I understand in America, this like broke even. So not even in Japan people wanted this? Uh, uh, 
bro, you it know was how fast animes come out, dude. And, well, you said it was 20 plus years before this shit came out. Yeah. So, so like, the audience for it doesn't give a shit. didn't even give a shit about it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like... So this wasn't even a thing for Japan either. So it's like you were in the UK and you looked at you looked at the characters and you're like, yeah, I don't know who's playing this. I was yeah. the same way, dude. I was like, I don't know who any of these top Noble characters are. Uh, no, I, I think I know who Cashard is from the live action movie. Well, to us at that point, they're just functions. And it's a good game. Like it genuinely is. It's fun. It's crazy. The characters are well designed. Like some of some of the especially the Tatsunoko side don't play like any other Capcom characters in anything. Stop it. Yeah. Now you stop it. Yep. Yeah. It was like Capcom versus Bandai. Right, that'd be a big deal. Yeah. Bandai versus Capcom. Wait, so... Namco Bandai. Now you're separating Bandai from Namco? Yeah, because Bandai's the big anime stuff. Uh, that's and the, I, that and was, I ate Namco a long time ago. Yeah, th this was around, like, you know, the early... Well, they did that around, like, what, the mid-2000s? And then Namco became a thing? 2006. Yeah. 2005 or 2006. Which was close to when this game came out. Yeah, this game came out, what, 20, 2010? I always hated Oh, it. they came out way before that. This game? In Japan? No. The box is in front of you somewhere. I just no. put it down. Behind me. No way. Look at it. No. Right there. It's like a 2010 game. Maybe 2009. Like I said 2008. No, it's like 2007, 2008. It's pre Street Fighter 4. Yep. No, you're right. I'm mixing it up with MP3. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And my head, my headspace is in MP3. No, it's but... like it's like. No, mid, you're right. You're right. 2007. Yeah, mid 2000s. It came out in 2010 in the U.S. It's yeah. been a long time because right, right, they right, had right, no yeah. plans to bring it to the U.S. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah my brain was thinking NBC because I came out in 2011. NBC 3 was 2011. Right, NBC 3 was 2011. Street Fighter was two years Street before, It was right before Street Fighter 4. It was like 2008. Was 7, yeah. Like 7, 2007 7 or 8. 7 or 8. And it might have come out in, in arcades a bit earlier. I think the arcade was just post-console. Maybe it would have been right. Yeah, and then and it was a 2010 for the USA, so it was like two and a half years after it came out already. Which is a long fucking time. That's how long it took to negotiate everything. Because the game's done, you're just translating it, you know? Yeah. The only reason I know is because I had it, but I imported it and I brought it you to Game You imported it, it was like And December. I didn't like it. I was like, oh, geez. It was like December the day, or the, the, the year before... I still have the two Wii fight sticks yes. that I imported for it. Yeah. Jeez, see? Yeah, December 2008 for Japan. I remember that specifically because... We got four, not oh nine. Yeah, and we but got it right stuff. at the end of the year before the year the year of fourteen came out. Not the spring or whatever. Was. Max learned his uh, he was mortal. Yeah. Right, it was right before you learned about your mortality. Right, that was it. We were like pre-release Street Fighter Four. Yeah. Ooh. Pre-release Street Fighter Four. Yeah, we had a friend that had a review copy. Oh, nice. we just jammed it at his house. Fucking he's dead. Oh! Towards the end of the week. It was a, it was a long time. Was the American release? Yeah. yeah. Most games at the end of a system cycle don't do well. No. No, they don't. You're right. Yeah, they don't. Even though like the player base is technically the largest, it's like yeah, people, but they don't give a shit. People yeah. move on. Yeah, yeah they go. Yeah. Yeah. They're, 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 they're things just sitting there gathering dust. Like now. yeah, like oh, the Wii had a hundred million Wii, almost Copies. almost 100 million Wiis were sold. sold or something like that. Yeah, and then yeah. Skyward Sword came out and it sold like half or less of what Twilight Princess did. And it's like, why? I'm like, because everyone moved on. People were done with that system by the time the game came out. Yeah, maybe the game was just bad. Yeah, that too. Yeah, right. Like, uh, call them A, call them B. Right. Call them A, it was, didn't help. Didn't help that it was, it was like the weakest 3D cell. Ooh, okay. That was pretty fancy. How do you do it? Yeah, you can do it again. <laughs> yeah, it actually, yeah, Lance, that a... I, I don't even know what other hardware it was used for, what other games that hardware was used for, but there was, yeah, an arcade version of this game based on Wii architecture. It might have been Triforce. It must have been. I don't know what the fuck other games would have been on it. Yeah. But... Uh, that's Zero's on it. Oh, good call, F -Zero, yeah. Zero, a soccer game... 
Uh, Starbox Assault was supposed to be on an arcade game, yeah. They never, uh, Namco never ended up making their arcade stuff. Luigi! 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 Let's play Mario. <laughs> Mario Kart Arcade? No, 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 that was made on Bandai Namco stuff. Yeah, I don't think Mario Kart, Mario Kart Arcade, I don't think it's Triforce. No, it, it looks way too good. Yeah, it's, it's a little beyond that. Triforce is just a GameCube one. Yeah, it's crazy to think that this is essentially just a GameCube game. It's really not that much. Wow! Else. You can't knock him off that first thing. Boink! It's almost like he's not there. Yeah, there's, there's, some, there's some funny arcade boards that are like that. Uh, Namco had one early on with uh, like the, the Tekken board, the Tekken 3, the Tekken Tag, right? That, that arcade hardware like, ran up to Soul Calibur. When you, like the arcade version of Soul Calibur was like a PS1 game. It's like what yeah, the fuck? Model, it's Model 12, I believe it's called. Some weird shit. It's the PlayStation 1 hardware, yeah. And then you get the arcade board from Sega that was uh, like an Xbox, like an original Xbox. And then you get the Naomi, which was a Dreamcast. And then you get this fucking Wii thing, which is technically the GameCube. To hear over Xbox yeah. and 360. Dude, I swear there was a Power Ranger girl that you can yo yo as well. It's her. Oh. Chad, am I crazy? Isn't there a Power Ranger girl that uses yo yo? I'm sure there that? was, dude. Kind of early. An Atomus Wave, yeah. Atomus Wave is what, like a Dreamcast? More or less. More or less. I think Arc it was a Sammy board. Yeah. Right That's why all the Thomas Wave games just work on Dreamcast. Yeah, right before the merge. This is from Ninja Force, the Blue Ranger? Really? I was like, I know it, man. Wii was too GameCube sack? You're giving it way too much credit. Damn. It's just Wii with RAM. It's like Wii with like a little bit more RAM. And not, by, not much. Wow. Yeah, shit, oh, shit connects cool. in this game. Yeah. The shit seems to work. That truly flows. Yo, yo, pose. they're still kind of the shit, man. Let's look at the Morgan pose. They got like a little tournament and shit. Pose. People doing all these crazy yo-yo tricks and shit. You know what I'm saying? They used to tour, but I don't think they do oh. that anymore. Or back in the 90s, they had yo-yo tours and shit. Mm. They're cheers. Oh. They turn them new. Yeah. And they're like, you know, go through city to city and they'll show off their yo-yo tricks. And all the kids would be like, oh, that's awesome! And then the yo-yos would have lights on them and shit, and you'd be like, oh Dude, game my cues god. would be super pretty deep. Not really. No. Most of the time, you gotta understand, when systems had new generations, it wasn't like, it's double the power. No, it was like... A complete new way of doing it. Significantly yeah. magnitudes more power. It was way, way more, well, usually. Older console generations were like, okay, no, you're gonna have to make games entirely different now. Uh, for a lot of shit. And that, that actually kind of stopped from the current generation we're in from the previous one. That, yeah. that was the first time where it's like, no, now our consoles are essentially just souped out versions of the previous consoles for the most part. I would say that for like the transition between Super Nintendo and N64. 100%, yeah. But I wouldn't say that for NES and, and Super NES. I think, I think... Uh, it was, it was definitely the case. You have to think of things like sound, things, things like, not, not just in terms of pixel graphics, like, dude, the Super Nintendo was doing 3D graphics, for fuck's sake. Yeah, but, but there was, like, certain aspects in the game. It wasn't, like, the whole game where they were doing 3D aspects. Like, if you look at Chrono Trigger, they had that 3D aspect during the race. Uh, play like Star Fox 2. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, Star, Fox, Star Fox is totally, yeah. Star Fox is a totally like, different yeah, they, yeah. they were making completely different games on a Super Nintendo than they were making on an NES. Yeah. Completely different. Like, they had access to so much more things that they were able to do. Like, and, and really, that's the mo that's the whole industry. Like, we, we get to make games in completely new ways. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, 8-bit eight, eight to 16 bit wasn't magnitudes. Like, yes, oh, it yeah, was. it was. It oh, yes, was. looking at the wrong games. Like, there's not a lot of... You look at the wrong games if, guess, if that's yeah. the case. There's, there's some substantial, like, insane things. Because the 8-bit era lasted, like, a decade. Like, it was around for a yeah. fucking long time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, we know that. And when 16-bit hit, everyone was losing their minds, but... 
the way the game's played, it, it, it kind of felt like it wasn't that much of a change. It, but well, I guess I was looking at the right game. Like, it, and you have to think of it in certain ways of, like, you have to go back, yeah, right? Yeah. The reason Sonic the Hedgehog was so big is because the game was fast as fuck. Yeah. No yeah. game was that fast. Like, nothing on a Nintendo or any old hardware could make a game move that quick. That load that information that fast. That yeah. didn't exist. That's why Sonic... That's where the whole blast processing came from, is that yeah, even the Super Nintendo couldn't do yeah. this. You know? Like, yeah, the, 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 the Genesis CPU was significantly faster than a Super NES. Like, by magnitudes, actually faster. So that, the Sonic, yes, yeah, Sonic could not be done on a, on a SNES. It actually couldn't. Um, that kind of shit was like, hackers Whoa, have this is crazy! Done, hackers have done some stuff lately just to see what it would look like. Oh yeah, like modern tech. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you know, there's there's compromises and stuff. Like you couldn't just raw port that code, it would never work. <clears throat> yeah, I think I've seen a I've seen a weird ROM of like Sonic 1 working on yeah. a SNES and it looks like weirdly like they had to make it smaller. Yeah. You know? That and you're tiny. Here's the crazy thing. If you look at if you, if you're talking about like just base hardware, what's under the hood. I think right? I like Kara uh, very old. Um uh, if you look what's under the hood, Super Mario Brothers 1 is a almost about as far as an NES on its own can go. Because Nintendo has forever been, well, not forever, until the N64, all about loading hardware in the, in the cartridges. Yeah, yeah. Most, most good or, or, you know, significantly unique NES games had hardware loaded into their cartridges. Yeah, yeah. They tried to cheat. Yeah, it was, it was basically cheap. Fucking Pilot Wings had hardware yep. in its cartridge. That was a goddamn launch game. I remember Pilot Wings. That game was fun. It's, I don't think I've ever actually played SNES Pilot Wings. You never like, did? I that, that game was fun, man. That was an old school, yeah, old school gem, mean. you know? Like a hidden, uh, what is that called? Like a hidden, um... Hidden gem. Yeah, hidden gem, right? Yeah. yeah all, all the FX chips, all that mode, though, those, that mode stuff that only works on some games, like it, Mega Man 2, Mega Man X2 has it. That kind of shit, it's all like, it's cheating. They're essentially like, like off. That's like they have RAM cards in them. You yeah, know, practically. Yeah. We need old school dice again. Damn. Holy shit! I mean, everything that you guys would play at this point would be emulated. Like there. No, 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 no. We'll have old school dice. We'll, we got more of them. Right, but I mean, those are specialized fucking systems and shit like that. We'll put like HDMI cables and all. Like no, for us, yeah. Well, yeah. but the idea is that we're still playing the original games. So, yeah, yeah, on the original hardware, but the original controllers. Yeah, sorry about different dance. Uh, yeah, we do need an old school night again. We'll have to figure out what we want to play. It's been a while. We need to get a turbo. A, a turbo graphic sixteen? Yeah. I wanna go through the turbo ladder. I've I, I all my I'm all my knowledge is like Bonk's from adventure. other people. Yeah. I've never know? played Bonks. We'll play the original splatter. Yeah, so do make turbo graphics uh cards now. Yeah, let's make let's, let's I wanna see what Street Fighter 2 plays like on that. Damn yeah. it, they made SO2 on Turbo Graphic 16. Yes they did. Whoa. Yes, yes they, they did. did. You never played a uh, Jaguar match? I very briefly. Yeah. Like we I got even... the the cart for that. Yeah, I, I actually have a Jaguar cart. We actually have. So it. We have a Jaguar and a Jaguar cart. We actually uh -huh. can do that now. The dude, the dude gave us like a Jaguar in mail time. Like we already got like two to three years ago. And we can actually. We still have not oh, it's probably... done that yet. <laughs> no, good point. Uh, the, the Jaguar is actually back there. The big old fatty. Yeah, fat boy. Jaguar night. Fat thick boy. I mean, it's pretty much AVP Tempest, and that's it. It's the only actual good games. There's a couple that are alright. There's some alright. There's some alright. Yeah, you're gonna see some shit when you delve into When you delve into the Fight. Jaguar fighting. Fight for life. Yeah, it's the worst fucking game I've ever played. Damn. Even worse than Superman 64? Yes. Dang. This Fight for Life is the worst goddamn game I've ever played. That wasn't like. Oh, wow. Like, it's not like a big Greg Zing or whatever, right? Or like some, some like, weird ass... Do you remember the controversy that happened when ABGN reviewed Superman 64? Where oh, it was yeah. like, he's not reviewing a retro game. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember that? When Something we, like, oh, when, this is too recent. Yeah, this is too soon. <laughs> I remember when that happened with Angry Video Game Nerd, and it's like, he's playing... A 3D game. Whoa! What does it kill? Right? That's Remember that shit? People are like, oh. How do you get angry about this? Watch me. You what, oh, mate? You just watch me. 
I don't get it. So the game was out earlier, and right? he didn't like it. Was, uh, no, it's, just, it's too new. It was too new. Because uh, ABGN covered like we're going to take you back to the past uh, to play uh, some shitty there. games that suck yeah. ass. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that was the gimmick of the show: old games. Damn, I'm doing a thing. And injustice has taught you well, Kenny. Mm. SNES and Atari, like, I, pushing buttons. I can't imagine fucking, uh, oh, there we go. Damn! Do a review on some old-ass Atari you wanna try, Steve? He's getting good at this game now. Uh, He's getting good now. How much is hot? Uh, well, we gotta go one more, one more, or call it, call it. It's getting pretty late. Uh... Do you want to play one more, Steve? Oh, or just, or like, do you want to like sure, push yeah, some buttons? We'll have to hold off that Marvel build of the crazy Mugen Marvel thing for another time and give it some a proper time. Fight him! Who's that Tekken Blade? And you got zero. You got this. You got this synergy. What? You got this good team already. Good. But now, nah, just to learn stuff. All right, all right. Yeah. One more, one more. Last one, last one. Let's go. No, but just learn some stuff. The last one, one more. I'd rather have the buffalo <laughs> oh, now take a ears. diarrhea dump in his ear. What? He'd rather eat the rotten asshole of a roadkill skunk and drown it with beer. He's the angry video game guy. He's the angry Nintendo nerd. Well, that's the weird thing about thinking about it, because they have some other, like, you know, too, where it's like, N64 is 25 years old. Not old enough. Like, uh, Dreamcast is... He can play any shitty game he wants. Dreamcast is like, you know, they came out in the 90s. The 90s. Long ago in a distant land. Damn. It's crazy to think how it's like, when we made Assist Me, ABGN was my inspiration with the 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 gags that he had yeah, on that yeah. show, right? Where it's like Bugs Bunny showed up and he's shit in Bugs Bunny's mouth and stuff. And what? <laughs> he says he has not seen ABGN. When uh, the Top Gun gag, like when Mike would take Joseph as the Joker and all that kind of shit, like that was actually the that was a big inspiration for Assist Me, where it's like, yeah, I yes. want characters from the game to show up, you know, and do weird shit. Because there was nothing else happening in the content creation space. It was pretty much like ABGN or Freddy Wong. Like, two oh, varying God, degrees really good, yeah. of Fred. ridiculous, like... Fred? Yeah, oh, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna say, like, video game no, related. Fucking... <laughs> Fuck Fred. <laughs> wasn't that the time that YouTube, like, wasn't actually... Like, people weren't getting paid for it, they were just doing it for the fuck of it? Sort of. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the that's what I started doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I did for like a, several years. I did it for like a half a decade of just doing it for the fuck of it. Oh my god, second hit. What's a good AVGN review, chat? What's one that we can just give Steve real fast? God. Does Steve not know what it is? Steve has never seen ABG yet. He doesn't even know what it is. What's the, what's the best one? Bugs Bunny? You think I was a big video game? TMNT? Like, they're like 10 minutes, they're yeah. not long. Yeah. No, he didn't watch any of that shit. He watched it on stream. Okay, I've probably seen it here. Oh, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's like his first one, dude. Yeah, we played Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah, we did. Well, then, yeah, the, it's later on which has some other stuff on it. <laughs> Battle Toad. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's first. <laughs> that fucking joke. Oh, wrong button. I think that Bugs Bunny's Bugs birthday Bunny. blowout. Yeah, we have, we're going to watch that. We're going to bring that up and we're going to watch that right after this. We're going to watch Bugs Bunny's birthday blowout. <laughs> Steve's, in the, Steve's in the zone. So is Kenny. The zone is in. Steve wins! Steve's your Tatsunoko master! Uh...